Hello everybody, so lately I've been getting a lot of questions about uh, the overlay, uh, I mean on-screen display that I'm using uh, whilst recording my um, FPS battle to display GPU information. So I decided to make a quick video about it, uh, just to answer some of the questions that uh, you may have. Uh, basically, the program that I'm using is Riva Tuner, uh, which comes as part of MSI Afterburner. So once you install MSI Afterburner, you go into Settings, Monitoring, select anything that you like uh, to display, and you basically use this option, Show in on-screen display. C click OK, and it will be appearing from there on. And the program that uh, is used to uh, do this on-screen display is called Riva Tuner. You'll find it in your system tray. Once you've chosen your first um, on-screen display option in MSI Afterburner, Riva Tuner will appear in your system tray. It looks like this, so you click on it to bring it up. And uh, here you have to set it up. Uh, on this on default settings it usually is set to vector 2d fonts so this is the default font and you will most likely uh, know it from any other YouTube videos uh, a lot of people use it I don't know why maybe because they just are lazy or don't know how to change fonts but I'm going to show you now how to change fonts to anything you like so basically what you do is uh, you go into raster 3D over here as you can see it's already changed to the one that I'm using but to change it to anything you want you just left click it again and it brings up the fonts uh, menu and you can use any font you like even uh, the ones that you downloaded off the internet like uh, um, custom fonts you can still use them it will appear in here and you will be able to uh, use that and as you can see you can go italic, regular, bold, uh, black, whatever you like. You can choose it and it is just awesome. Uh, you can customize the looks of the display that uh, of how you display your information. And also another f mo uh, another important thing to do is make sure that uh, uh, this option is selected. So on screen display shadow must be on to have this uh, black shadowy uh, counter over here so that uh, the digits are more visible and of course the color over here by clicking this you can choose any color you want I believe that uh, the default one is this like a purple-ish color uh, I don't like it very much, so most of the time I'm using this very bright green, fluorescent fluorescent green. And it looks awesome. You can change uh, corners, uh, you can change the, the gap from the corner. So yeah, this program is uh, created and powered by Guru3D.com. Those guys are awesome. Just to, you know, thanks to them for providing us with this uh, uh, awesome uh, application. I like it very much. I mean, <laughs> this is the whole point. I'm doing FPS battle uh, videos thanks to this program right here. It wouldn't be it wouldn't be the same without it. So yeah, hopefully this clears some of the questions that uh, you may have had and. Um, I'll, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Stay tuned for more videos. RG out.